Welcome back to another summary statistics video. This is the final one of four and in this one we're going to look at the range of some data and identifying outliers. So range, what's the range of some things? That's I guess the space between the distance between two sets of values. So range equals our maximum value, so our biggest number, take away our minimum value or our smallest one. So let's do an example. The combined number of goals scored in each of the 48 first round games of the 2010 World Cup is summarised in the frequency table below. So we're going to find the range of the data above. So our highest value here is 7 and our lowest value is 0. So our range is 7 take away 0 which gives us 7. So our range for this set of data is 7. So next little thing we're going to talk about is outliers. So what's an outlier? An outlier is the data value that is much smaller or greater than the main body of data. So it's when we have a piece of data that's out on its own. So for example, we have this graph here and we can see here we've got number of student, number of children in a house or in a family. We've got one two, three, four, five, and there's no families with six or seven, and then there's one family with eight. So we call this our outlier. Now the reason we, we talk about outliers is it can really sh uh, change the shape of our data, it, especially with our mean, um, it can really change the position of our mean. So it's important to be able to identify our outliers. If you have any questions, again, please make sure you ask um, and get into the example, uh, the exercises and ask any questions you might have.